I just wanted to show you guys real quick what I woke up looking like. <laughs> this is my cutest zombie look yet. And it's natural. I know why you guys are here. Look at all this shit I bought. I even bought earrings. I bought stuff from Shein. And I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. Also, my name is Lo if you're new here. Thanks for hanging out. It's very cool of you. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Everything I bought except for the earrings are black. So, heads up. I'd expect nothing less from me, but I should probably pull up my order so that I can tell you exactly what I got and how much it all was, because that's that kind of stuff is helpful. Hello, come on now. I bought seven things. I paid $65 for seven things. That's not that bad. That's like almost $10 per item. I'm not gonna lie, I've already worn some of these things. I've had my delivery for like a week. That's not fucking true. I had my delivery. Jesus, why can't I speak? If you're watching this, go drink water. I've already worn three out of the seven things that I ordered. So we're gonna start with what I've already worn. This piece of fabric with all these strings, I've worn it twice and I absolutely love it. It is the Shein Lace Up Backless Crop Halter Top in the size extra small. And I only paid $4.45 for this and I freaking adore it. The strings kind of confused me at first because I am a very simple bitch and I saw it and got extremely confused. And you can tie it a couple of different ways but tying it from the back is my favorite way. The only issue that I have with it is towards the neck area, it kind of chokes just a little bit, like it's a little bit tight there, but I'm sure there's a way you can fix it, I just haven't figured it out yet. I'm going to buy this top again in the green color because I can't get enough of it. I love it. Maybe I'll do another Shein haul and you guys will just, you'll already know when you see it, but I'll have the green one too. <laughs> this one, 100% worth it. If you love halter tops, that you can tie up, this is the one. And it's got a bunch of different colors, so buy this top. Moving on, I have not worn this yet, and I'm a little bit scared too, but I bought it anyways, cause it's fucking cute. This is the Galaxy Mesh Skirt. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Immediately when I saw it, I went, oop, add to cart. This is the Galaxy Mesh Skirt. I got it in the size small. It was originally $13, but I paid $11.57, so like 12 bucks. This is what it looks like on. It has the built-in undies, but I still recommend wearing undies underneath. I thought that the undies were gonna look like saggy granny panties, but I 100% think that it fits perfectly on me. Here it is, styled, so that you guys can see kind of what I was going for. I'm going to LA in a couple months, so I figured I guess I'll just bring this to LA and I'll wear it there. Even though it's gonna be like winter time and probably really cold in LA, I'm still gonna bring it. I think Oahu is, is gonna give me some looks if I wear this out. And like, I don't really care, but I also kind of care. So LA to start at least. <laughs> I love this. Moving on. This is the first pair of shoes that I ever bought on Shein. And to be honest, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them. I wore them for the first time last night. I didn't get any blisters and we were walking around quite a bit. These are the clear chunky heeled gladiator sandals. Originally $27 but I paid $24. I don't really like the up the leg laced look. I actually prefer it to be like a bundle of lace around my ankle so that's how I tied it up. These are very comfortable for me except my toes are a little bit squished. Teensy bit tight on my toes. I think the overall look and style of it is really cute. I probably wouldn't buy the same style like in a different color. I'm not obsessed with it. And the heels are kind of tall. I don't know what I was expecting. It looks accurate from the photo. These are about four and a half ish inches, maybe even five, but I'm not a very good judge of measurement, but they are on the longer side. I give them like a five out of 10, maybe six, a generous six out of 10. I forgot to rate everything else, but the halter top, 10 out of 10. Actually, 11 out of 10. The mesh skirt, 9 out of 10. Moving on. This, this top, you guys. 
This is the double v-neck solid crop top. I think this style of crop top is extremely flattering, but not really on me. It was $7. I paid $6 for it. The back is a little bit too big for me. It's a little bit awkward when I have it on. Um, if I'm not constantly adjusting it, it'll like ride up and it'll look like it's too big for me. I saw a girl on the reviews. She said like she crisscrossed the straps. It fit better on her. But when I tried to do that, I literally choked myself. Putting it on, it felt so fragile when I was putting it on. I heard a bunch of seams popping and I did not like that. But I feel like if I sized up, the band would be too big for me. So I was a little bit conflicted. Maybe my boobs are just bigger than I thought they were. I'll probably wear it once for pictures and then like depop it or something. I give this top, I'll give it a generous six and a half, maybe seven out of 10. I feel like if I just had a better way to put it on like if you could tie the back or if you had like a bra clip type of back that would be more functional trying to squeeze the part that goes around my tiny ass waist around my fat fucking head it ain't it but it is a really cute top so six ish six and a half out of ten this top i don't even feel like i should review because it's so basic i just lost my last one and i needed a new one but i just got a solid black bandeau it's like a staple in any wardrobe it's so basic you can style it so many different ways this was five dollars and an extra small really basic i don't think this even counts as a review because it's literally just a booby cover 10 out of 10. moving on I bought my first ever pair of earrings off of Shein. They're freaking cute, man. I think they're really cute. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Here they are inside their little bag. They're basically little chain link earrings. I got them because I have a necklace that matches them. But as you guys probably know, if you don't know, then now you know. I have a whole shit ton of piercings on my face. They look really nice. They're definitely eye-catching. I'm not exactly sure if that's what I want on this side, but it is on this side because look how cool that looks. Are you kidding me? I love it. And they were really cheap. So the chain cuff earrings were $2, but I paid... Yeah, I, I paid $2. It was like $1.78, but we'll round up. Easy 10 out of 10. Easy. Of course, I wouldn't get them wet because they'll probably oxidize and turn your ears green, so I don't recommend it. I just take them out every night because they're also impossible to sleep in. Thing that I've been wearing out of the three that I said that I've been wearing. <laughs> Should I put on the necklace that I have so you guys can see like what I'm- yeah, I'm gonna. Well, now that I have it together, it looks a little bit, um, excessive, maybe? No, no, it doesn't. When I want to dress edgy, now I have some cool jewelry to dress edgy with. Y'all can't tell me that this does not look cool. This is cool. I'm so bad at this. Okay, we are on to- I'm gonna take this off. We're on to our last piece of clothing that we bought from Shein. And this was also a first for me because they're shorts. Here they are, next to my head. That's how the influencers do it. These are the Shein SXY raw hem ripped shorts in the size extra small. I think it's supposed to be Shein sexy. Anyways, they were listed for $16, but I only paid $12. As soon as I pulled these shorts out of the bag, I noticed that the part that's supposed to cover your coochie, literally the length of two fingers. It doesn't really matter though. Like when I tried it on, you can't even really tell. I did want them to be on the shorter side, so it's a pretty good length. At an angle, you can kind of see my little butt cheeks, but for the most part, like I'm pretty well covered. I paired it with this basic black belt that I don't even remember where I got it from, but it's extremely basic. I like the rips. It's not too excessive and the length is pretty good. The only issue I think is like it doesn't have any pockets and it has these fake pockets in the front right here. It's got seams like it has pockets, but it's all a lie. There is no pockets. <laughs> that is everything that I bought from Shein. Absolutely none of them are good for the weather that is coming up in most states and places of the world, but I live in Hawaii, so I can I can wear these things in the wintertime. I am going to LA in November, so I'll probably do like a fall clothing haul. For $65, it's not that bad. I'm gonna keep pretty much everything that I bought. I'm over it. I'm sweating. <laughs> 
that's it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Yeah, I will see you guys next week. See you later. I just cramped really, really hard. I'm tired of the cramps. I'm tired of my legs being sore. I'm never doing leg day again. I'll have a flat ass for the rest of my life. I don't care.